Heavenly Father, we bow before you this morning, Lord, to give you the praise for everything that you've given us. Thank you for, for our lives and for the help that we have, Lord, and for everything that you've given us. We're so thankful for We pray this morning, Lord, as we go into our meeting, that you just be with us, guide us, and direct us, Lord, in the decisions that we make. Help us to make the right decisions to help our county and help the people out there, Lord, that needs help. Be with us again, Lord, and guide us and direct us and forgive us all for we fail you. We'll give you the praise for it all. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 So this gives us a plan of what to do. In other words, I'm looking here at uh, earthquakes. Uh, in other words, when we, if we have an earthquake, we turn here and it gives us some yeah. instructions of what the uh, county needs to do to, That's for them to expedite and provide the best services for the quickest manner. Yes, sir. Plus, it also incorporates, if you have a, a situation like debris, who's in charge and, and where you would go to and who helps support that, that agency and that also. We need to uh, motion to accept this. Uh, yes, sir. And your signature then, if y'all accept it, then I will, I will forward it on to each municipality. We need to, uh, when, when do you need this? Do you need it? Well, well let's sign it uh, by what date, or will you need to sign it now? To, if you can sign it now, that's fine. If, if it's too quick, I understand. If you want somebody else to look over it. Well, I mean, uh, of course, I know it's y'all plan, which you're in charge of uh, coming up with these plans in the state, uh, so I'm sure that uh, it's been uh, uh, 
There's a good deal of study going into it. Yes, sir. And I've even had the state look at it. We had a regional meeting and looked at this plan before I presented it to you to make sure it was going to be compatible with them, and they were happy. So it's similar to the one we had, just a little condensed. Yes, sir. Condensed down and, and more wording added to it so we can make sure we've got our NIMS guidelines and everything for grants. I hear a motion we accept this. Motion to table. Let's look over. We can do it next week. We got a meeting next week. Okay. We got a motion table. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. We will. All right. Have next week. All right. Can I swap copies with you? Though? That's one I do my own little deep. Didn't want to I'll bring you a copy exactly. Right. Okay. Thank you. Right. Please don't forget the. The meeting, safety meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. What time is it? 1.30. I got an option for my next plate. Can you get your hands in? Can you send your meals? Yeah, I can send it. Thank you. What's the uh, show uh, not here yet? We have uh, uh, Mayor, do you have a uh, we uh, see you in uh, tennis here? Do you have a... Well, Greg has been speaking with Mr. Dennis Washington from Box 6 News. Greg can speak or let Mr. Dennis tell you why he's here and the proposal he wants to make. So I'll just let him speak. All right. I'm here to support him. Okay. <laughs> support for Good morning. Uh, I'm from Fox 6 News. So we are <clears throat> looking somewhere here in Hamilton to put another webcam. We've already, as, as many of you already know, have one in Winfield, have for several years now. We have uh, been able to acquire some more cameras with weather sensors. Uh, so we've strategically, back last fall, got together at the TV station and decided which cities we would like to put those cameras in, and Hamilton was one of our choices. So we've, uh, the last few months, been looking around. Uh, I came up last month with, and, and at Greg's request, and we looked around here in Hamilton. Uh, the place that best suits our needs and our opinion is the, cap the courthouse here. Um, in Hamilton. It is, in my opinion, the highest point and has the best view both to the southwest and to the west, as well as a good shot, that a, a video uh, from a picture, video point of view of Highway 43 that comes into town. So it's a very recognizable location that people, when they see it on TV and on our website, can know that this is downtown Hamilton. Yeah, landmarks. So, okay. Landmarks, exactly. And, and, a lot of people, you know, sometimes when they think of, of weather webcams, they think somewhere up high out of the open, but there's nothing to see at night when there's no lights around. So we like to try to find locations that have a good daytime view and a nighttime view as well. Um, so what we're, we're proposing is to uh, have our equipment installed on top of the courthouse here, with your permission. Uh, it would be a camera that we could control remotely. Uh, that camera would automatically feed the server back at the TV station in Birmingham that we could then display video, live video on TV on, on Fox 6, uh, as well as there would be an image on our website that both the image and the, the, the on the website of the vid, uh, picture video on TV would say the location of where the camera is, which would be the Marion County Courthouse yes. um, and, and so forth. It would also have temperature, wind speed data, and so forth. Uh, kind of a dual purpose, uh, like I said, we, we, we like to, we've got 25 of these cameras scattered around the state of Alabama now. We're expanding that. Uh, we're just trying to, it's, a, it's primarily a severe weather mechanism. Uh, we learned many years ago uh, during severe weather that people respond to decisions, safety decisions about taking shelter from tornadoes when they see video of a tornado live on television. And I'm not hoping we ever see one here in Hamilton. But we learned two years ago with the Coleman tornado and with the Tuscaloosa tornado, we had webcams in both of those cities uh, that showed the tornado coming live into those two cities. And people, I, I encountered many, many people after that who said, I took shelter. I went to my safe place when I saw that. So what we're trying to do is get as many cameras in as many locations in Alabama to, to help encourage people to take that that next step. Yeah. So, um, it, it would be a proposal uh, that, that we would propose for you. The, the, the equipment we have would not penetrate your roof. It's a non-penetrating roof mount that we use, so it would just simply set on top of the roof, have about a 10-foot pole where the camera would be mounted on top, the web 
other sensor would be mounted to the pole as well. So. Would you have to have access on the roof to, to mount the camera? Just to install it, it to, to set the, the, it's about a six foot by six foot pad um, yeah. that sits there. It's got cinder blocks to keep it. It's, it's when, these are the same type of mounts that we use for satellite dishes at the TV station. So they're, they're made to withstand hurricane force winds to keep them from moving. Um, and then they would just connect to your, your internet connection here and, and plug into the electricity. It doesn't use very much of that at all. Um, just simply so just feeding the, the data back to our meeting. There's a couple of situations here. I don't, I don't know what if we do have access to uh, electricity on the roof. And also, we've just uh, found a new roof on our courthouse. And there's, a, there's some question of what about our uh, our liability of, uh, uh, in other words, doing away with our uh, guarantee on the roof if we get on the roof. And I'd like to know for Scott to look at our, uh, our warranty here and see if, if we would avoid our warranty if, in fact, we gave access to the roof. Okay. I mean, it'd be, uh, I think it'd be a safe and uh, good thing. Well, and, and from a personal perspective, uh, I, I, my kids and I go to Maywood Christian Camp every year. Uh, I'm, I'm, I attend Robot Parkway Church of Christ Congregation in Birmingham, and Jerry Jenkins was there and for many years. And so we've, we, this is, this feels like a second home to me. Well, to come up here certainly, every summer, we, so. you know, anything we can do to uh, make it a safer place in Tornado Station, we, uh, we've, uh, we've had both ends of the county blown away and absolutely we racked around. So well, and what we it. learned from it years, several years ago, and the reason we started doing this uh, seven years ago with these cameras was we learned that when, when I'm standing or me or JP or someone standing in front of a radar map on TV and just showing you colors and saying that's a tornado and it's going here, yeah. people don't seem to connect the dots that that means that something dangerous might be about to happen. But if we can show live video from a camera, yeah. And they see that, that funnel cloud or that tornado, they then connect the dots and realize oh, it's time to go to a safe place. Yeah. So that's the reason we've invested the time. In Scott, into are you aware of, have you read this uh, What Do you have any, uh, okay. are you uh, ready to give us some information on this? Yes, sir. If, if we just allowed them to go do that, it would be a violation of the warranty. We would have to get do our last to sign off on the procedure and, and everything. That would be done. Mm -hmm. Daryl, Daryl Ash would have to sign off on it. Uh, well, did uh, this? No, has anyone uh, broke? Did someone come the other day from asking permission to? There was a company back several years ago that had asked to also put a receiver up on top of the courthouse, and at that time the question was liability of if something happened to their property or to their property. Who would be responsible? Would they, you know, if their stuff tumbled over, hit a hole in the courthouse or on the roof, who would pay for the damages? And that just kind of went away. But uh, didn't someone uh, recently, since our new roof, has access to? Um, back a couple weeks ago, um, someone was someone got on the roof. I uh, don't know if there's any damage or not. I wasn't here that day. I was out on a sick day. Yeah, that was, so I don't know who got the permission no, or how. We, we, at that time, we, we asked them not to get on the roof, didn't we? And they <coughs> got access anyway. Someone well, got access, but like I said, I was out on a sick day that day. I don't it, know exactly what happened. Was it a county employee? Okay. So, could you contact the people about a Permission, Scott, or do we need to see if it's permissible today, if they would give us, uh, I have, you know, I think it'd be a uh, favorable thing as well. You know. Well, and, and if, if the issue becomes where the, the non-penetrating roof mount would not be allowed on the roof, we could certainly explore other options, maybe a side mount with a pole that could be mounted to the side of the corner. Well, that's why I asked you a while ago if you'd have to have access to the roof. Well, and it's, it's, that is our primary or preferred the, method. bucket truckers. Right. That, that would be our primary preferred method, but if that's not allowed, we could certainly explore the option of having a pole that would be mounted to the walls of, of one yeah. corner of the courthouse. I don't, you know, I don't think it would be in, uh, in opposition to, you know, no. the camera. But, uh, if we just, without, without more than our... Part six, so when it's uh, coming through uh, Hamilton, it's coming to Hackenberg where I live, yeah. so I know when the yeah. storm's here, just take 
Oh. Absolutely. Well, it, it's important for us to try to cover as many counties as we possibly can, and then as many locations with on all the counties. You know, and that's that's why we've made a, a, a many thousands of dollars in investment and, and many hours to install these cameras, is to just provide another way to save people's lives. And, mm -hmm. and people enjoy the cameras. Oh yeah, we appreciate the you know the you know, concern and the, 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 our safety in mind. And we, we can find out right quick or pretty soon we'll just see what's got and find let them know uh, within uh, less than a week or yes, okay. uh, and uh, I hope we can work things out and it come through. I look forward to it. Thank yeah. you so much. And we work we any way we can. Wonderful. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank you for wherever your time to come see us. I was glad to do it. Thank you. <coughs> we was waiting on Mr. Shaw. Do you know if you talk with him like this road, take him away? On the way, he had to stop and look at a culvert. Okay. Sir. Stop looking at a culvert. We're doing a bridge. We're doing a bridge in District 3. We're doing a bridge in District 3. We're living up there. I'll take it on the spot. We got some coffee back there. If you gentlemen like some coffee, we got a coffee pot. I about floated away on the way up. Yes. Good in the moment. March the 25th at 10 a.m. We need to set a date for a public hearing. At that time, you know, we'll have a public hearing as it relates to the, the road work. And then we'll look at once a year. If we get done with that, we'll request a formal amendment for that. So this is what we went to uh, Montgomery the other day, talked to ADAC about. Right, Jim Baird. Jim Baird. Uh, right. uh, to, uh, to 
I should have been. Wait, wait a minute. Now, I, I'm still in the dark. It, it's for for storm uh, for the storm debris. Th this is for the debris and demolition agreement okay. that we had through HUD, the ADEC grant. Okay. Have you heard us talk about it? Okay. We went and met with them, and and we they allowed us to transfer it over to, to do some road work, okay. as opposed to the, to the debris cleanup. Uh -huh. There's another pot of money that they're going to be coming down with through Hurricane Sandy. You know, and another I think it's a hundred million dollars. Now I've got a letter for the chairman's signature to, to give a contract matter hold to see if we can't tap into some of those resources to help do that demolition and debris and do the remainder of the road work. The road work would be in the Hackenberg area or actually I got a map and it's, and it's not it's storm. The path of the storm. So, some of the roads have the storm. storm. Yeah, it's it's the path of the storm. One of them, but actually there's we've got several roads. Obviously we don't have enough funding to do all the roads. But we've got one up in, in District 3, and then we've got some roads in District 1. We have some other roads that would be a lower priority, but, but that's what the request is for. Would there be any debris, actual debris cleanup, as we know, debris cleanup, or is it just for roads? Well, this original agreement is for demolition and debris. Right. We'll, we'll have a public hearing, and then we intend to request for a formal amendment. Yeah. And if all that's approved, then we would do the road work. Do we know how much money we can get out of this? What's well, $300,000. And they talk, I think, $21,000 that money to administer the grant. Okay. Okay. And, and Montgomery signed off on it then? Unofficially, yes. Unofficially? Yeah. yeah. Unofficially, they, they, we went and met with him and talked to Jim Barry and his staff and, and explained to them why we felt like we needed to do this. And like I said, given that there's another pot of money that we're going to try to tap into to get some, some funds from that, from the Hurricane Sandy event. So last week there was a meeting between Baird and you and the commissioners? Yeah. Three of them. Three Which ones? Don, you, okay. Now, hopefully this Hurricane Sandy money, we can get out of some houses like I've been preaching about. <coughs> yeah. Hopefully we can get some of it for that, too, to get people to build storm houses on the place. Okay. Okay. And here's, here's the letter I'd like the chairman to execute on behalf of the county commission. And I'll give this to Nate Todd to give to Congressman yeah. Hope when he's when he sees him next week. This week. You might have a motion, don't you? Yeah. I'll second. I have a motion to second. All favor that's good into the disagreement. So I'll say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed likewise. Improvement programs. The community development block grant 
CDBG program has, and the most recent disaster supplement <coughs> provided by Congress following the events of Hurricane Sandy are among the most promising programs to address the problems of Marion County. The state has applied for $175 million in additional disaster supplement funding through HUD to aid communities <coughs> affected by declared disasters in Alabama in 2011-12 calendar years. Thank you for your continued dedication to this program of assist rural Alabama. Your record and actions have been always been steadfast in support of the needs of our people. We ask for your continued support as the state of Alabama works with HUD to secure regular program funds and disaster supplemental funds to continue the recovery efforts in our great state. We will sign this on behalf of the county. Uh, send this to our Congressman Idaho. Now the $13 million, of course, might brought it out good to to Jim Laird and them that, you know, there's three counties that get $13 million. We wound up with $300,000 out of $13 million. So I thought Mike done a good job explaining that to them. We didn't get nothing out of it practically and, and we're proud of the $300,000, but, but we should have got more help out of $13 million than $300,000. And it, and it went to towns and all, we didn't have no problem with that. But, but we should have got a cut in there to be able to help our rural areas. I have a motion. Give me the authority to sign this letter. So moved. I'll second. Second. All favor say aye. Aye. You're thinking that you already signed it. <laughs> <laughs> you get one small one for it. some of our city officials are here because this will help out. Scott Recycling has approached us to do a, a, what we call an electronic recycling event. And what we're going to do is try to have it down there near the airport go on that CDL testing facility because it's easy to get access in and out. And they want to work with us in doing that. We've got a memorandum of understanding basically just outline the responsibilities. But it's pretty much everything's free, electronic computers and things like that, but they do charge $5 for TVs per, per person, you know, or per TV that you bring. It won't cost Marion County anything, but, but they will charge for that. We've got to furnish a man for like, from 9 to, let's see if I can find the time zone here. It's on April the, April the 6th from 9 to 2, and like I said, it would be down there in, if y'all agree to do this, then that's when we'll have it. But it's just an electronic recycling event where Scott Recycling will come in and take electronic items. Otherwise, you, know, you don't, not in no way to dispose of it. Well, disposal is, uh, of course, I didn't realize that a television stores electricity. And even if you unplug them, they're still dangerous. So this is to take things like this. TV, computers, electronic items, radios, and things. I don't know if the city has anything anything like that to offer either, but, but we just thought it would be a good idea to let our residents and constituents have a place to bring those things instead of throwing them on the side of the road maybe. You know, so what day is that? It's April the 6th at, um, from 9 to 2. It'd be down there at the airport, that CDL testing facility, and you get in and out, got real good access right there. And we'll, I'll furnish a man down there. The yeah. only thing that we really got to do is furnish one man to help load and unload the, the, the components or whatever. Yeah, we'd be crazy not If y'all agree to do that, then we'll... We'll promote it our next time. Well, we we the municipalities will be allowed. Anybody, anybody, anybody in the county can yeah. bring it down there. Right. Five dollars for TVs, other electronic items are free. Okay. <clears throat> that radio would be on the radios and TVs somewhat. We can promote it on TV too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I hope maybe the Wednesday before we do it, if we could get a maybe an ad in the paper to help remind people, you know, yeah. as, as it gets closer. But if, if y'all agree to do that, I'll get the chairman to sign this memorandum of understanding. Well, there's truck comes through with it. <laughs> <laughs> you need a motion, Yeah, I need a motion. You don't need any motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion. All right, got a motion. I have a second. I have a second. All perfectly, I. I have a second. Okay, we'll take a second. Here's a list of items. Um, laptop, desktop computers, monitors, hard drives, modems, printers, scanners, copiers, 
telephone equipment, faxes, power backup, power transform, miscellaneous business equipment. So you can kind of and you'll then also have a new fax. Yeah. 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 Will these be destroyed because those people are today? Will they be rebuilt? I guess they'll recycle them to the extent that they can. And I don't know. I don't know how you would recycle those things. But I'm, I'm sure there's there's some value to them in order to do this. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what what their thing is. I don't know if it's a TVs or or if there's some there's some elements or items within that recycling material that's valuable and can be recycled for and make money on it. You can read manufacture them computers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, TVs to the forty miles. <laughs> it gives people a chance to get rid of them. You can't just throw them in the garbage. That's where most of them lines up. Is there any other? Yeah. Uh, nothing else on the agenda. Uh, Scott, do you have anything? No. Uh, we will. Uh, Exercise as quick as we can, let you know about this camera and work with you where we can. So, we appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Well, I did see the. Well, I'm going to sign it, you? No. And we already signed the minutes, uh, I mean, uh, the minutes, read the minutes. Uh, I have a motion that we approve the minutes. Yeah. I'll make that motion. Motion. I'll second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, the claims. We've got a motion to split the claims. We've got an open sign. Sign claims. Third. <laughs> no, second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. So, there's your motion to adjourn. I